We're in heaven with 27. We're in heaven with 27. We're in the- yeah, <laughs> thanks for believing. 2027. 20, 27. Think Phil and believe 27. You like Phil? I like Phil. I, uh, I like Phil. I, I like <laughs> Select your me. Think Phil and believe 27. Yeah, that's the video. There's one here. It says, Sing Film Blade 27. And we're going to talk about some scenes with this video that are none you need to know. You need to know. You need to know. You need to know. <laughs> because if you need to know, you need to know I'm bowshard on the positive side and on the negative side. You need to know both sides, both sides. And that's about, okay, so thinking, feel, and believing, everything in life is how you wish to think, feel, and believe about it. And however you wish to think, feel, and believe about it is how it will be for you. You, 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 you. It will be for you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, the story that came to my mind that I wanted to be talking about, the first time I kind of noticed something like this, and um, what came to my mind was that, uh, you know, there's a gentleman, a preacher, his name was Robert Schuller, and he had the Crystal Cathedral, right? And I don't know what happened it or long ago or whatever happened to I I don't even know what it is today, but where or what's going on with it today. But I remember when he used to do the uh, the broadcasts from there. And it was like, he was like one of the dudes at the time, you know. It was just the sanctuary was full. And his, you know, his broadcasts were everywhere, you know. And um, and uh, and then over the years, I mean, just to make a long, 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 long story short, I mean, I, I mean, there was just so many people involved in that. And then over the years, it just kind of dwindled and dwindled. And then I don't know where it's at today. When it's not necessarily, you know, it was just like a failure. But, but at that particular time in my life, when I saw the article, I had it dwindled. And I, I had remembered the greatness that it was at one time. And when I saw that article, because I've been developing my spiritual voice. And when I have my, when things speak to me and I learn things i listen to those thoughts that i have and at that particular time i listened to that thought that i have and it was like when you stop the manifesting process the situation teeters down and goes away too right so if you're like for instance um you know I write new business. If you watch, if you, are you watching all the videos? One, two, three, four, five. Think, film, believe. Listen to do the succession. Ah, ah. Because it's like a book. You need to, you need to look at it as a book. And, and, uh, and, and. Do what you're told. Do you understand me? Um. When I, you know, I write new business every week. Well, you know, like particularly right now. I mean, I don't know. I guess I kind of am still right, but not at the level that I was. Right? Because I'm in a transition in my life, you see? And it's like, and I know this stuff is real. You know, it's like I've got desires, but I've I want I'm the rears are churning, the rears are churning, and I'm you know, it's like I'm making a transition in my life and I'm having my thoughts, feelings, and beliefs about certain things, and I'm making a transition. So I'm going through a bit of a process for myself of of kind of making a transition, although I don't want to start speaking bad about basically the the area of income that I have been getting money you know from because I want to be able to you know it's like <clears throat> let's just say you need to pay attention to what you think feel and believe about things and the persistent and consistency of them is what's going to manifest okay so and you you got to understand so you can't you can't go free oh no I had a thought and all of a sudden whooping it's going to happen no it's the persistent and consistent level of doing things that causes stuff to manifest and if you stop manifesting you're stopping the process of things coming towards you. And, you know, it comes to my mind a little, um, just a little thing that uh, I read something uh, was like, you know, you know, people fail. It was basically to the extent people fail at reaching or, uh, or achieving their heart's desires um, probably on just the very edge because of their, their, 
you know, they start to form an attitude that begins to push it away. You know, like, uh, for instance, here, I'm talking to you about this thinking, feeling, believing, and you might think, oh, I'm going to change my life, and I'm going to start thinking about things, and then you try it for like a week, and then you're like, oh, it doesn't work, and so you stop. Okay, it, it, no, 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 it's got to be consistent. You got to believe, you know, and I got to tell you, I mean, one of the things that I've understood, too, is that faith is the the most is one of the greatest challenges to hang on to and just having faith and believing. Having faith and believing, just doing it anyways. Because you're doing it blindly in those negative things that are happening in your life and it's because you're perpetuating that just because you're blindly thinking about those things like I have before and even some of the good things that I was doing blindly too. You know, it was the persistent and consistent process of that that caused those things to keep perpetuating whether they were good or bad and they're doing that for you too because we're all the same you see we're all the same you see we're all human beings hey yep 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 yeah yeah so you when you stop the manifesting process whether it be negative or positive you stop what's perpetuating and coming to you i mean that's just that's just part of it, you know, um, call things out as though they are. I mean, uh, there's some of you out there that heard that one before. I know you have, I know you have, I know you have. Call things out as though they are, you know, the things that you want to attract into your life and stuff. So, you know, you got to you gotta understand the, the importance of being persistent and consistent at it with your thoughts, feelings, and your beliefs. And it's the thoughts and the feelings that are the synergistic components that cause things to happen wholeheartedly. And then your thoughts and your feelings are perpetuating a certain belief, right? So we talked about Schuler. you know, I mean, he had that thing going. He, they were probably calling it out. They were calling it out. They were speaking it, you know, they were praying about it. They were speaking it. They were praying about it. They were speaking it. And after they did it for such a long time, you know, then it just kind of probably, it just kind of, I think, I mean, I don't know. I didn't really do a big study, but then eventually it just is one of those things that just kind of wore out and, and, and come and came to an end. And, you know, and like I said, the thoughts that came through my mind is like they stopped the manifesting process and you can do that with bad things too you know you can stop me oh my knees hurt all the time oh my knees hurt all the time or whatever it is the condition that you're having you're thinking about it. what you're speaking about it what you're what you're thinking what you're speaking and what you're feeling and like oh you have pain well yeah how can i not ignore with you know you got to change your thought pattern to, towards it and i mean <clears throat> I mean, there's just so many examples out there. I mean, I'm just like, I got bombarded with so many things that he could live or examples that people had tumors that disappeared. A guy that got into a bad airplane accident one time and they told him he was never going to speak or walk again. And he did both, you know, because he kept, because he kept, uh, he kept working at things that were perpetuating an environment for him to improve. And then he believed that he could, and he had thoughts about it and he had feelings about it. And then he had beliefs about it until one day he manifested it, right? So, you know, and, and like I said, like I said, and you'll understand, like I say, this is for every person that's out there. This isn't special to just those people who've been successful at it because I know the reason why I'm here sitting in front of this video camera for you right now is because I had a bunch of examples in my life that, um, well, you see, I, I experienced them blindly. You know, I was doing things I didn't even know it. And there was great things that were happening. Like I paid my business off in two years and I paid my truck off in a year. And, and you know, the, 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 the things that I had, the experiences that I got to witness with other people. Like I think I maybe told a story about the lady who came in and did a transaction in a packaging and shipping store that I had. And she was worried about the, the snowboard getting lost, worried about the snowboard, worried about the snowboard getting lost. And, well, and what happened? Yeah, I mean, so the power of your thoughts and your feelings and beliefs about things are causing the perpetuation in your life. And I don't care how old you are or who you are. Seriously. I mean, if you're just a little kid, you know, and you're like 10 years old, the power's in you too, you know, and your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs about it. But, you know, it's having the maturity to be consistent and persistent at it. You know, like my son was consistent and persistent at getting the, the, the test grade that he wanted on the military exam. And instead in 94, he got 95, right? You know, and um, you know, the business that I'm currently getting right now, I used to get a lot more of it ever on a weekly basis, but I've stopped manifesting that and I'm still, I'm still writing business, but not as much. And I'm making a transition, but I'm careful to what I think, feel, and believe. That's that's what you need to stop and make a make a point to pay attention to what your thought life is. Pay attention to what your thought life is and pay attention to what, how that's connected to your feelings. <laughs> because those feelings are creating beliefs. And when you when you got the synergistic 
aspect of that? Well, then, you know what? <laughs> yeah, you know. 